you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a desert island somewhere <laughs> off Whitney Bay, where you are allowed to take with you Duke Ellington's autobiography of, uh, of uh, Music Is My Mistress and any five musicians of your choice. <laughs> That was, um, that was uh, in the title Sleepy Lagoon, a, com a composition by Eric Coates in 1930, which uh, not a very typical sort of Eric Coates thing and stuff. I remember playing the, the school, the Dan Buster's March and stuff like that. But he also wrote things like Sleepy Lagoon, which is lovely. We're going to move on uh, with another title um, from Tommy Dorsey. This one, a little more modern. We're getting a bit late for the, uh, for the Whitney Bay Jazz Festival. This is 1938. Uh, it's Music Maestro, Please, and it features Roy Analdi on both. Charles Winninger in it, and he did a trombone duet with Tommy Dorsey. Um, I think the film was Broadway Melody. Is that right, Malcolm? Oh, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, they played this catchy thing called I Love Corny Music, which sounds really corny. And in a way it is, but it's also great, and it certainly inspired me as a seven-year-old kid to think, wow, this is really, really good. And I, I hadn't seen it. 
uh, until I was browsing YouTube. And you know what happens when you browse YouTube, all sorts of stuff comes up. But, um, but so did this, uh, this thing with, uh, with Tommy Dorsey and Charles Windenberger. And it's, it's actually really, really good. I love corny music. That's one of the things that's responsible for me standing up here and doing this. <laughs> um, we're now going to play uh, another lovely song by Tommy Dorsey, uh, one of the big band ones that we have to do. You have heard this one before when we played it with Rico and his Bunny Berrigan set, so forgive me that. Um, but this is Marie. So we're still saying fairly modern. Uh, and this is entitled Darn That Dream.
in the same, uh, same octave as, as, as Tommy used to play it in. And I remember on one occasion I was in Denmark with Harry Strutter's Hot Rhythm Orchestra and there was a band there called the Carling Family. Now this has been quite a few years ago. Gunhild Carling was about 12 or 13 at the time. And she was playing, getting sentimental over you, on the trombone in the same register that Dorsey played it in. And I thought, wow, that is amazing. And just after I thought it was amazing, she got to the second chorus, took the bloody thing up an octave. <laughs> no.
because I realised that I was, I fancied myself as a bit of a musician when, you know, when I was in my early teens and things. And they bought me Getting Sentimental Over You in what they thought was a jazzy version. It was Herb Albert and the T.U. on the Brass. T.U. <laughs> 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 on the Taxi and the, yeah. and the Mexican Flea or whatever it's called, all that stuff. Yeah. Don't tell my mum I said that, will you? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be mortally embarrassed at that. This is, uh, this is our last number of the, of the Tommy Dorsey set. Uh, and it's time to, for you to leave the desert island and go back to the mainland that is Whitney Bay um, and the jazzy stuff that goes on there instead of all the sentimental stuff that you've just been doing. So, as I said earlier, Tommy Dorsey wasn't a jazz trombone player per se, but he was one fantastic technician on the trombone. And he wrote this piece of music in, forgive me, 1948. I know, but please don't leave. <laughs> this is entitled Trombonology.